Hello, this is Daniel Che. These are the headlines. Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott speaks out about the siege in Sydney that ended with two innocent lives lost. The assailant was clearly a disturbed individual but was not on a terror watch list. An investigation into the incident has been opened. In the wake of the tragedy in Sydney, authorities in India and Australia turned their focus to the Internet for signs of terrorism as the web is used as a recruitment tool for extremist organizations. Russia's ruble plummets more than 45 percent against the U.S. dollar, prompting the country's central bank to hike its key interest rate. And Korea's transport ministry is set to punish Korean Air over the nut rage incident. The airline faces a three-week suspension or millions of dollars in fines, while now former Vice President Choi Yun-hai is looking at criminal charges. We have more at 6 p.m. Korea time.